It's true, elk are simply a subspecies of deer. They are the largest and most intelligent red deer subspecies. The word elk comes from an ancient Germanic root that also means stag or hart. In Europe, this large mammal is called an elk. One alternative name, wapiti, translates to white deer in Shawnee. The bull elk's white fur is the inspiration for its common name. Elk has since replaced wapiti as the preferred moniker in North America. The average Southern California bull weighs around 230 pounds, though there are some that are over 500 kilograms, 1,100 pounds, in size, 240 pounds. Female elk resemble bulls in appearance and size more so than other red deer. Huge antlers, up to 40 pounds in weight and nearly 4 feet in length, are grown by bull elk each year. A bull elk's antlers can grow as much as an inch per day during the summer. Cow elk are between 6.5 and 7.5 feet in length, with a nose to tail length of about 3.5 feet. They can weigh between 300 and 600 pounds. Depending on the gender and subspecies, elk can be anywhere from 4.5 to 5 feet tall at the shoulders. A single day's worth of plant food for an elk's four-chambered stomach can weigh up to 20 pounds. There is a 10 to 13 year lifespan for elk. One of the most popular big game meats is elk. A mature elk will yield approximately 200 to 250 pounds of meat, deboned. This tasty treat outshines both beef and chicken in terms of protein content while also being lower in fat. Throughout the continent of North America, you can find four distinct elk species. The first one, Roosevelt elk. Originally from Alaska, the Roosevelt elk were relocated to the Pacific Northwest in 1928. Elk, Cervus canadensis, are found across North America, and this one is the largest of the four subspecies. The Olympic elk is also called the Roosevelt's wapiti. Roosevelt elk can be found in certain regions of British Columbia, California, Oregon, Washington, and the Canadian province of British Columbia. These elk inhabit the thick, food-rich coastal rainforests. The elk that live in the rainforests are the heaviest of any elk subspecies in North America because of the abundance of food available to them there. 2. The Thule elk. Thule elk are native to only the wetlands and deserts of California. The dwarf elk is the smallest elk subspecies. This species is extremely versatile, as it can survive in arid climates with very little water. Thule's, which are similar to cattails, are favorite habitats. That's why they're called by that moniker. Thule elk have evolved longer teeth to better chew the tough grasses and bushes of the desert. 3. Manitoba elk. The southern Canadian provinces and the middle of the United States are both home to the Manitoban elk. In 1900, the subspecies had almost vanished entirely, but things have been looking up ever since. Wolves are the primary predators of elk in Manitoba. The elk cannot use long-distance migration as a defense mechanism against predators because it does not migrate. Instead, it employs a number of strategies, including socializing, mobility, and vigilance, to evade predators. Its body is larger than that of the Rocky Mountain elk, but its antlers are noticeably smaller. For Dot Mountain elk from the Rockies, the Rocky Mountain elk, whose antlers are the largest of any subspecies, is native to the Rocky Mountains and the surrounding mountain ranges. Because of their adaptability to high-altitude environments, Rocky Mountain elk have been around since humans first settled the region. These elk are the most sought after for interstate relocation because they are so adept at hiding.